So, I guess it's noon. Time to start. Together. Today's class, we're working on Kata, taking Nidan and MD, uh, focusing on people that will be taking their blood flow test this year. If you are a lower rank and you would, you would like to join, you're more than welcome to. We're gonna go step by step, so it's pretty easy to follow. Now, for taking, uh, we need to be well warmed up. So, if you're keep up, press your out. Gonna stay there for a little bit. Keep pressing your knees out. Keep your right shoulder in. Keep your knees out. Left shoulder in. Keep pressing your knees out. Do a half auto. Put your elbows where your knees are and pray, keep pressing out. And go the other way. And one more time. And turn over your straight leg, lean over. Go the other way. Press your knees out. Turn toward your straight leg, lean over, back your kibadach. Stay there and try to sink a little bit. Press your knees out, toes in. Stay there for a little bit. Keep sinking. Upper body should be relaxed. Focus is on your feet, heels out, toes in, knees out. And yeah, and shake it up. So taking it down, all the takikatas, they go just side by side. Before we start, please make sure you have the correct setting so you have plenty of room on your sides. For taking, you don't need to go forward and back, just sides. Now before starting, we're gonna warm up the hips a little bit more, like we did um, in the last class on Wednesday. For Tehi Kata, we'll use what we call hip vibration rather than deep hip rotation. When you're in your kibadachi and you need to keep your kibadachi, it's very hard to do hip rotation without dropping the knee. So we're gonna learn to do some hip vibration there. All right, give me your kibadachi, left hand out. Now as you punch, I want you to use the punching hip. Even if this time you're gonna break the stance a little bit. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rock, sitch, hatch, go, ju, and yeah. So we're gonna do the same 10 punches, only you're gonna put the hip in and then pull it back. So it's gonna look like this. Punch and pull back the hip. The hand will stay there in the punch. What you're learning as a beginner is from that strong hip turn to stop the hip right here. When you're uh, lower bout, it's okay to have a little bit of move here. When you're high rank in the new core, everything is gonna be setting here, so it's almost like you're not using your hips at all, but you learn to put that vibration in. Now, doing your punches with no hip will look like that. I can't even do them, so keep in there. All right, and if you punch, we're gonna do 10 more punches. This time you're gonna push the hip in and pull it back. So make sure at the end of the punch, your stance is nice, solid there. Left hand out, and by the count. Each, knee, sun, chi, go, rock, sit, touch, go, jo, and yoke. Another. So, katas, all katas. you're not only using the vibration, the second part of making it different from other katas is you have to step side to side in your kibadachi stance. And everybody learned that, you all learned that when you were lower belt, when you're in kibadachi, stepping, and you do your kick. Right? 
Now, what, learn, what you learn there applies in the Kikatas. That step that you've just learned as a, as a low rank will apply in here. Basics of the steps. Don't go too low yet. We're just gonna go a little bit higher. Basics of the steps. Your belt knot will face straight forward. I know you see it at an angle there, but that's because of the angle from my computer. So, go ahead and put your belt on the hips. Basics. Hip belt stays straight forward. Hips are staying completely even. You're shifting, so let's put your hands on her hips. Shift your weight. Hips are still even, belt is still forward. Bring your foot over in Kosadachi. This is the Kosadachi that you've learned in your canyon down. Same stance, only this time, the foot that's on the floor is the back foot, has full support on the floor. So, hands on hips. Make sure your hips are staying even. Make sure your belt not stays straight forward. Just gonna step to your right. Itch. E. Itch. E. And going the other way. Itch. E. Itch. E. And yeah. I don't know if you guys can see my feet, but I think you can see them now. As you're stepping your kosadachi, make sure the foot that goes over doesn't, the knees don't cross. The knees are coming next to each other, like you've learned in your canyon that, right? This tight right there. Front foot will not gonna be churned out. Front foot will be with the, this edge of the foot strictly parallel with the other one. You plant your foot on the floor, and then you step into a correct kibala. Otherwise, you move your foot out in kibalachi. Last part. Internet connection. Forget about that. Last part. As you step from kibalachi to kibalachi, from the side view, your body needs to stay upright. The most common mistake is this. So, to avoid that mistake, when you're in Kibadachi, go ahead and rotate your hips under. Now, as you step across, focus on keeping your hips under. Go switch, hips under, 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 and there. Hips are still under, versus this. So, hips under, itch. Keep your hips under, and step. E. So, from the side view, your body needs to be always upright, hips under. That doesn't mean you're going to curve your back. Keep your strength in your lower back, keep your strength in your, in your abdominal muscle, head straight. All right. So having those basics of the stance, I think we're ready to start. We will work probably about half an hour on the kinigan, and the rest half of the time we'll focus on MB. Um, half an hour seems like a long time, but it's actually not. You'll see. All right, so we're gonna go step by step, taking it down very slow, very slow. And then we'll break it in small parts and we'll work on different parts of, of the kata. Yo! And together. Ready? Let's. Yo! Take it down! Look right. Sink. As you bring your foot in Kodachi. Lift your elbows. In between your feet should be about one fist distance. Your arms are parallel to the door. From the side view, you're here. Back straight, hips under. And as you drop your weight, drop your weight, this is about your almost your kibadachi stance. So don't stay, don't stay high. Drop your weight as you step. Then next move, bring your right knee up. Elbows are going from here. They're meeting in the center. Forearms parallel. Make sure your fists are not bent. Your fists are straight like you're punching up here. Knees up to your chest. And then step to the side. And use your body swing. And this kind of motion in your hip to put power in the block. 
So one more time from the beginning. Look, drop your weight. Knee up, elbows parallel, sorry, forearms parallel. Body swing into the first block. Your right hand, fist needs to be straight. The most common mistake is this. Make sure your feeling is like you're punching right there. This is actually a block, but the feeling in your wrist is of, the, of a punch. Now, as you step across, a kick is coming from the front. You will block the kick right here in front. Closer view of the hand. The left hand is helping the elbow, the thumb under, the other forefinger on top. So it's not everything on top, right here. So you just get strong block, front of your body. Looking forward as you block, turn your head to the, head to the side, bring your fist, elbow side, sorry, shoulder height, and then use your body swing to put that block. Left hand is the same, helping the right hand. And then shift your weight and slowly up. Look left. Same thing we did to the right, we're gonna do to the left. So let me up, sink as you block. Use your body swing here. This uh, wrist straight. Step across, block. Same shape of your hand. Look to the side. Big body swing at this block. Bring your hands. Open your left hand. Bring it right here. On the side. Right fist is with the fist facing you. Helping the right hand right here. And then your block 45 degrees to your right. It's not completely to the side. It's 45 degrees. Not in front. Not completely to the side. Fingertips of your left hand are out at the wrist. I hope you can see that. that. All right. Next move. Think of, for now, think of one, two. On one, you will bring your left elbow back, sorry, right elbow back here, and the knee up. So this is one. This is one. Okay? The knee is up. The foot is not dangling. It's this is a block right there. Left hand is left palm is still open. And as you go back, the elbow comes around, fist in the right fist in the left palm, elbow around, you strike in front of your face, front of your chest. Sorry. So it's not too high, it's not too low. Right there. So the move is here. And this is where you use your hip again, your hip vibration. Look to the right, big block across your face, so don't keep it low, across your face, long and grab. This is a tsukami. So you block and grab, pull toward you. Left hand, left elbow, don't let it go out. Keep it way to the back, so your shoulder blade should be way tense here. And then you can go. Short punch, kagezuki. Use this hip to put power. Good. Eyes are still to the side. Stepping across. This is the move that you guys did in Eti Shodan. Everybody should know it. So, wind up. Up to your chest. And block. This is from the front view. This shoulder height, shoulder level. And each. Your right hand does a block to a punch that comes to the to the face. So this is Nagashi. Each. The other one, the other hand, this is either a grab or a block, but in the kata, your fist is closed facing down. And then block punch. Urazuki. Each. That's the key I move. Look left. Open your right palm. Again. Left fist in the right palm. And this is the other block that you do right here, 45 degrees. Not too much to the side, not in front. Fingertips are at the wrist. Again, next move. Before the elbow strike, think that you're striking somebody back. 
with the elbow while you're bringing the bench out. And I'll show you that from the side view. And, and big elbow strike, middle of your chest. Look left, big block and up to come Get elbow back, shoulder blade, blade stance, and Kagezuki. Step into your left. Again, the same move that you did in can show down. Knee goes out, knee goes out, your chest, the other hand goes up your shoulder for the block. Each. And then wind up. Nagashuke with your left hand and block punch, Urazuki. Kiai. And, yeah. and together. So this will be the entire kata, really step by step, step by step. Now we're gonna break it in small parts. This is the purpose of today's session is for you to understand every single small part. And then when you put it together, full speed and power, it will actually make sense and look the way it has to look. So 10 seconds for a drink of water, and then we'll start over. If anyone feels like the belt is getting shorter and shorter, and there in your, on your size too, mine is getting shorter and shorter too. I don't know what's going on. So, let's do one, two, three, four, five. That's it. First five moves. Again, slow, a little bit of, make it a little bit more fluid. Just start straight from your idachi, head, sink, this is slow, each. Because adachi, make sure your knees are not crossed, each. Swing your body into the block. Shoulder press, press down, don't let this shoulder stay up. Look forward to the block, each. Kime. Look side again. Each. So those moves, elbows are coming to your body. Keep that in mind all the time. So don't, let, don't make it a dead move. Pretend somebody's pushing on your elbows and you're forcefully bringing your elbows up here or bringing your body under that push right here. So there's a certain tension that you have to have there in your upper body. All right, one more time from the beginning. Still slow. Head. Slow, put tension in those elbows. Think. Each. Each. Knee. Eyes forward, sun. Eyes to the side, she. Tension in your elbows like somebody's pressing. Each. All right, one more time. Making it a little bit more fluid and try to put a little bit of hips in that too. Look. Each. Each. Knee. She. Each. And last one. For the hip action. So on this one, it's almost like you reach and swing the hips that way. On the next move, you really have to use this hip here. Put the hip in there. And so this is a, this kind of walk as you bring the foot up, uh, behind. Sorry, let me the foot on top there. So, here, use this hip to put power in the, in the block, but without turning. So, we're going to exaggerate the hips a little bit and then we're going to use that vibration. So, again, from here, each hip into the, the double block. 
Keep this hip, hip in here. Keep in there. And up. I hope it makes sense. So last time, we're gonna put a little bit more speed in it and make it fluid, almost the way it should look in the kata. Still by the count. Itch. 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 Now I keep staring at the screen just to make sure I'm right there, but head, look to the side, look to the side, look to the side, look forward, look to the side, look forward. So I hope you guys already know that. Now, let's keep going. I need to keep an eye on my clock too. So, you're right here. First thing that you're gonna do, look, sink. So as you do this, you gotta sink. It's like, uh, this is actually a move that you will do in Nijishiho, this kind of sink. You're contracting everything, block, without arching your back. So block is, back is, lower back is still strong there. So we're here. Head, itch, knee. Same move. Itch. Look forward. Use that hip there. Hand right here, supporting your elbow, thumb under, fingers on top. Open your left hand. Itch. As you open your left hand, you bring the hands here to the other side. Itch. And then remember this one is when bring your elbow back. At the same time, bend it up. Itch. Itch. And this is going to work on break it down right now. So, for the ones that don't know the cut, are still learning. Uh, you try to be a little bit closer. I have a spot right front above my computer that's really blinding me. But for you to see what we're doing, we're here. Open the left hand, bring it right here. But don't bring it around. So, as you open and bring it here, that's it. Efficiency. So the elbow goes down and back. That's it. From here, itch. Knee. So from here, use your hip to put power in this hip vibration. Fingertips at the wrist. So this is not a, the same thing that we did before. This is just fingertips first. And then knee up, elbow back. Let me try to see if I can do it from the side view. Good. Itch. So, one, one, two. If possible, try to land after you did the elbow strike. When you did the elbow strike, try to land on the ball of the foot, not on the heel. I'm sure my husband heard that. Anyway, so. Important parts in all the kata that I don't think I've mentioned before. To make it sharp, and pek is one of the katas that need to look sharp. To make it sharp, the end of your technique, the kime, it's at the same time with the foot landing. So, hand shodan, beginners, you step and punch. Advance, you step, punch and step in the same time. Same with this. You brought the elbow back here, and as you land, that's when you're gonna put your, el your elbow striking. Same moment. All right, so again from here, focusing on what the hips are doing. The first part is similar to what we did before, so each hips are going into the block. E. Now use this hip for the, to add power. Each. Hips into the block. E. This is just vibrator. Bring it here. There's no 
If you do a little bit of a hip, it will go back here. And then on this one, you put it back into the, into the block. Then elbow back, and the hip is going this way on the elbow strike. So one more time from here. I hope you guys are doing it with me so I won't feel like I'm lonely. Look, sink, each big swing, hips and body. Look to the side, turn your head forward, each block. So the block, you finish the block with Kime by rotating the fist at the end. To the side again, each. Rotate the fist at the end. Each. Each. Elbow strikes back, knee strikes forward. Each. Each. Elbow strikes forward. And your eyes are still forward on this one. That's where your opponent is. Now you turn your eyes to the, your head to the right. And this is the big Tsukami so Uki. All right. One more time, this part, and then we're gonna put one and more part one and one part two together and we'll move on. I'm trying to remember if there's anything that I wanted to mention to you. I'm sure I will remember. All right, so we're here. Look, itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, Yes, of course, I remembered. Uh, we're doing the kata slow motion. When you're doing it full speed and power, and this is valid for most of the katas that have a technique from Kibadachi stance. And you've already learned that in Teki Shodan. In Teki Shodan, when you do this, we tell you that you shouldn't shift, your body should stay in the middle. Same applies in taking it down. You're here. As you bring your, do the wind up, hit back, block forward with your knee and the, in the, before the elbow strike, do the best you can to keep your body in the middle. Don't shift too much here. It gets too slow. So, idea will be kind of this. Body should stay approximately, approximately where, where it was middle of your kibadachi, so it's a very controlled imbalance as you do this super quick move and you learn your do those in the advanced katas a lot so it's time to learn it all right moving on well actually i promised you we're gonna put the two parts together and then we're gonna move on so from your way as you see as you notice i, I keep adapt, adapting my space here from your idachi it's slow tension in those elbows and explode. Itch. Look forward. Itch. Knee. Side. Itch. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Side. Itch. All right. Hopefully yours look good. I know I have a lot to work on as far as shoulders, but that's why we're here. Go ahead and grab a glass of uh, a drink of water and then we'll continue. take it from the elbow strike and before we go forward just want to make sure you guys know how your feet are supposed to be so in your elbow from the other side this is where you are elbow is not open closed that's why you where you get power wrist is not bent in all, any direction wrist straight like you're holding a punch into your left hand kind of shoulder height there so don't make it high don't make it low you bring your elbow around this way. All right. Taking, taking it from the elbow strike. 
Big block around. Grab at the end to come okay. Again, this is not a bad move. Put tension, put pain in that arm. So you're right here. You're gonna go out and around each. Tension right here. You don't have to do the breathing. I'm doing it hard to so understand. That is where you keep it right here. Okay, so straight from here. Itch. From the front view, make sure your elbow is straight back, shoulder blades are tight, tight there, and that will give you the power in the, that Kagezuki short punch. Itch. Remember in Kagezuki, we learn this with hand katas. The fist is not facing up. There's a feeling of a drop of water going on your arm, forearm downwards. Punch with the first two knuckles. So from the, the other, the other view, punch right here. Those two knuckles, not this way, not this way, not this way, not that way. Straight first two knuckles. That's your weapon. That's what you should focus on. Into that short punch. I'm gonna keep telling you vibrate your hips. But what you're doing is use your left hip to put power in there. The very last moment, you're gonna bring the hip back. So beginners, it's gonna look like a shape like this. Advanced, shake is getting, as you're using your core, that's getting shorter and shorter, smaller and smaller. All right, right here. Step across, itch. Make sure posture, belt knot is still facing forward. The move that we do in Peki Shodan, you already learned that. The fist is gonna go above your shoulder, knees coming up, you're completely covering, so don't, don't do it here. You're covering yourself here and then block. So this kind of block. And now again, you're gonna need to use the vibration and not too much shoulder move right there. Last one before the ki. This is where everybody gets confused. So when you're a beginner and you learn this move, you learn one, two, three. As you advance, advance, and we're gonna ask you to put one and two together. So you're here, one and two together. One and then block punch, ikiyai. The block punch, elbow comes around and down. So it's like, this punch is called urazuki. Goes chin level, but see how the forearm is not this way? It's there, because you did a block and punch. All right. So from, so come here, okay, one more time. Focusing on hips this time. The back hip for Kagezuki. Each stepping across, each knee, this kind of hip use, each again, hip is right, hip is back, hip goes forward. Now with hip vibration, right here. Each. talk to you about in this line and is what every every single person does including myself and I just saw myself so that, that's how I remember everything was let's say very nice perfect to hear and there here I am that's a no keep your stairs low so as you do your nagashu get this make sure you go down and stay down the most, most of the students are going up in this one and then finishing nice and strong. So force yourself on the Nagashuke. Sorry, starting from here to stay low and lower. Okay, last time this, this part, slow, uh, speed and power, full speed and power, and then we're gonna put part one, two, and three together. Rest of the kata is a repetition of part one, two, and three, so 
we're going to go a little bit faster through so we have time for any as well. So, so Kabeuke, grasping block, Kagezuki, each, 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 oh! Good. Now going back one, two, and three together to this part, to this end. And then we're going to do the end ones, one more time, and in the meantime, think of any questions you might have. All right, yo. Look right, sink, each, step across, each, 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 forward, side, each, left, each, 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 Just did the piano. Oh, the last part. Getting a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. Right here, right before the kiai move. So, so we're gonna put part one and two together. So this is one and then E rider. Right okay. I hope that's a little bit more clear what many of our students will do as they do the Nagashu, the Nagashu here, the wrist will be bent. So make sure the wrist is straight here and is going back. So from the side here, you're right here, you're not there, not anyone, uh, anywhere else, you're right here. And then the elbow will go to that block punch. All right. Just did the key move. So we're gonna move a little bit faster through the next part. Fist again in the middle of your chest. I know you see it a little bit to the side, but that's because of the angle. My camera is this should be straight from the front. Look left, open your right hand, each, 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 big to come in. Okay, each. Cross, itch, hey, itch, ay, and that's it. And so from the first year to the second, everything repeats. This. Pretty easy, I would say. I hope there are no question, no questions on that part. Anyway, we have. One minute, drink a little bit of water, and then we're going to do this one more time for speed and power. And this one, if you have questions, please unmute yourself right now. I'll be happy to answer. I'm not sure who's out there, so let me know if there's any questions. In Otherwise, I'm just drinking my amino here, and I'll be right back with more strength. A short punch are you when you do this do you move to the side at all all right who's there me jace jace okay i see you so what's the question short punch when you do this are you moving to the side at all or are you just twisting the hips and staying in just by breaking the hips hips and shoulders should stay even don't don't twist so ideally is to keep your hips and shoulders even. Even means, I know if you can see me, not there, here. So force this shoulder to, instead of moving there, to stay 
shoulder, hips even. Yep, that's it. That's correct. Exactly how you did it right now. That's perfect vibration too. Very good. Okay, let's see if I can bring myself back here. Speaker view. There we go. All right. Any other questions? All right, let's do the kata one more time. That was a quick minute. We don't have all day, so beginning to end the entire kata. Go! Sit together. Us! Yo! Take it down! By the count. Itch. Now guess what? It's your turn to do the kata. I'm gonna put gallery view. And if you want, you can uh, start your video. I think that's how it's called. I'm gonna count. Oh, hi, Nate. So I can see you. I don't really see you, Nate. But that's okay. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> turn your camera lower a little bit. Perfect. Hey, Edward. All right, Edward, I can only see your ceiling, but that's okay. Good, yo. Thank you, Becky. And together, right? Hey, Vivian. All right, by the count. Explode. Each block around. That's okay, Becky. I know you're learning. Short punch. Still looking to the side, Nate. Right, Brian, where we are the, sorry. Good, let's say everybody take the block. The Kage, the, the before, short punch. Hey. Good, you're hearing your short punch. It's, And big oh. Ay! Good. Ichi. 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 Big block around Tsukami. Short punch. Ay! Step across. Ay! Take your shoulder move. Ichi. And big Ay! And your man. And now that. Looking good. Looking good, guys. Uh, Jace, when we do the individual sessions, make sure you ask one of the sensations to look at your kata. You have some extra moves there, okay? Us? All right. Let me go back to my view and we're going to start the MP really quick. Sensei? Us. I'm that I'm I wasn't entirely sure where the short punch was. So is it after you do the, like the big? Yes. Block? Yep. It's after you do the yeah. drafting block. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you got it. Thank you, Sensei. Was working on those. All right, moving on to MP. Okay. So everyone mute. There we go, you got it. Okay, go. Together. B! All right, did that all wrong, but that's okay. You guys know me, won't judge. So, starting by looking for it, turning your head. So, not only looking with your eyes, turn your head 45 degrees to your right. And you gotta move your feet slowly together while bringing your hands right here, each. So, the hands, they're here. Fist facing you, the other one. Make sure it's not turned this way, it's straight back. Straight hand, 90 degrees here. So this is a starting move. Make sure your shoulder doesn't go there. Shoulders are even right here. So from your idachi, head 45 degrees. Step to your right. Each. Your head will stay turned 45 degrees as you go down. As you go down, move your feet shoulder width apart. And you will go down blocking a down block right here from the front view to you're right here so the other fist is forearm horizontal fist facing up so this is where you are in this first move only this move is very very quick so you're right here looking 45 you use this hip this way and you go down so this way and if you guys remember when we learned Gion I keep telling you from here, don't just step back in this. Press yourself into the floor. It's the same idea, going into the floor with intention, with motivation there. So you're right here. First move, itch. As you go down, your right knee is about, it's about where your left heel is. So don't take a big step. This is just a, a shoulder width of, between your, your feet right there. So you're right here, still looking 45 degrees to your right. And then go slowly up each. Uh, as you make sure from here to here is not just, oh, finally going up because that was hard. Now imagine somebody's holding onto your hand and you have to push hard. So you're gonna use your hips here only. The entire move here is gonna be slow. So you're right there. Each. It's almost like somebody's pressing on your head and you're trying hard to use this hip to go against that move. So from beginning, sorry, from here. Head 45 degrees to your right. Keep your head turned that way. The next three moves. Each. Go down, block, each. Head still that way, each. Slowly up, head still, turn 45 degrees. So this will be straight for me. This is 45, this is to the right. And we are going to go to the right now. As we go up, left fist is facing up, the other one is right here on top. So front view, side view. It will be shoulder width apart. So that's where you went down and back up. Now from 45, turn your head to the right, and you're gonna do a, you need to do a down block, Zenkutsu Dachi, the narrow stance. So each, all the down blocks, and this will be open. This is going with the hip. On this one, you're gonna have this hip vibration to open your hips in all the down block. Head this. Looking straight to your right. Bring your head back forward. You're gonna do a short punch with your left and your feet will just pivot here. So this is another strictly vibration here. What you do for the short punch, big hip, if you're thinking big hip move, you're gonna bring it back and throw it. So bring it back and throw it here. My, on the, Real speed of power of the kata, your hips are open, that's it. 
That's all you have. Then you're gonna go forward. Let me adjust the distance here. You need to go forward, jump rock. Then go to the back cheek. So fast move, hips open. All jump rocks, hips are open. Now from hips open, you're gonna use this hip like you used to in the Yakuzuki, only you're gonna do a rising punch. Rising punch, just to make it clear from the beginning, from the side view, this is how it looks. It starts as an uppercut, so this will be an uppercut where you use your hip here. Only in the very last moment from here, you turn into an upward move. So it hits right here under the chin. Uh, from the front view, things to watch for is as you start your uppercut, elbow is in the middle of your body, and then this turns upwards. So don't start your uppercut this way. It starts here. When you do an uppercut from close distance, you use this hip this way. This way, right? So elbow is gonna be close to your so going back to your jump rock, Agyazuki. And this is fast. Now you're gonna open it to the hand and press. This is a grab. So in this press, you're not gonna use your hand, you're not only gonna use going down with your body, it's everything. So imagine you're grabbing something. Grabbing the gi, grabbing the head, hair, grabbing a punch. So you're here. Next move is the one that uh, gives the kata the name, the flying swallow. So let me do it from the side view just to explain what you guys are doing and then we're gonna bring back the kata the right way. So you're here and you're pressing. This, your right knee, is gonna go up, 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 there. So there, hands, then you move. Knee up, super big jump forward. And this is where you go downwards in your punch, for your punch. So this is a really low stance. It's a Kosadachi stance from the front looks like. Let me see, can you see me? With the feet cross right here. Only it's low and punch low. So downward punch is Gedanzuki. Gedan means under the belt. You don't wanna know that. But so from the side view, you're here, open. Knee up, forward, forward jump. Go low, 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 low here. Back. That is still straight. And then you're gonna push hard in your right leg, which I can't yet, but I will soon. So stay super low still, you're gonna push hard in that, in that leg, and you're gonna go in a very low front stance, right there. Then you will wind up, do another down rock, regular front stance, keeps over. Uh, one thing that we talked about about two weeks ago in your katas, Make sure that structural integrity is there, right? So body is always upright, everything is set, everything is connected. This is one of the katas where you get out of that, that comfort zone. So on this very low stance, my body is not upright, you're leaning, but you're not leaning this way. This will be breaking my integrity. So as you're leaning a little bit forward, make sure your back is connected, your glute is tense, you're right there. It's almost like you do a kick back. A really nice back kick that that's the feeling of that connection in your in your core. And as you get ready for the other punch, for the other block, sorry, wind up. That set my hips again forward. And from the hip, from the hip movement. Front leg will move a little bit backwards to get into your regular front stance. So this line, if you guys are mastering it, that's the most important part of the kata. And then there's the jump. We're gonna talk about the jump in a little bit. So now that we got that over with, since on the first two lines you can't see it, we're gonna start the kata over again. And uh, we'll take it. We're gonna do the entire kata, beginning to end, but very slow. And I'll talk you to all right. Together is a big.
Have those 45 degrees. Move your feet. Slow, controlled. Make sure you mean this move. Itch. Everything is connected to the floor. Head still looking that way. Still turn. Go into the floor with purpose. Use the heat for that. E Narrows and kutsudachi to the right. Itch. Keep slow going. Be both on your feet. Keeps vibration. Itch. Good. Itch. Keeps open. Knee. Agazuki. Rise and punch. E Itch. Big jump forward. Get Anzuki there. Stay low. E Stay super low, super long stance. We're still looking back. Itch. Regular stance. Rise and punch. Itch. E Same thing going back. Knee strike. Big jump forward. Low. Kosadachi. Long, long Zenkutsudachi. Regular Zenkutsudachi. From here. As you're doing in Hanketsu, head, hand, and foot, leg are moving at the same time. So shift your weight on the back foot, foot first, on the back leg, then each. Make sure your right elbow stays back. 90 degrees here. Hands straight up like you're doing a shuto. So it's the same shape right here. Only hand is 45 degrees and you're looking at your hand. On the kiai move, you must use your right hip to put power in that. Itch. And big block. Two punches, middle of your chest. Itch me. Good. I need to adjust my distance here, my space. To the right, then put to that chip, down lock, itch, open hips, rising punch, I guess you can itch. Good. Stepping four, kakutsudachi shuto. Hips are going away from the block. Itch. Bring your right foot back. Wind up. Kokutsudachi shuto. Itch. And then one punch. Keep your kokutsudachi. E. One more kokutsudachi shuto. Itch. Hips away from the block. Turn your head back. Don't. Down down rock. Open your hips, right and punch. Close your hips. Grab, E. Knee up. Big jump forward. Low kosadrachi. And low stance here. Still looking back. Turn your head. Normal zenkutsudachi. Now I really need to adjust the distance here. So, on the last down block, you're still looking that way. Then turn your head 45 degrees, and this is a pressing block. So, heel of the palm is the one that's blocking. This is the first of those pressing blocks. So, itch. And the hand is not forward, not to the side, 45 degrees. Where you exactly where you're looking. Then turn the head forward, switch hands here. And in those pressing blocks, hands are moving up and down. They're not around like you did in hand sander, only up and down. So, you here, itch. Now step into a regular Zenkutsudachi, hips are open. Switch hands, e. sorry. Hands that are pointing up, they're gonna point the other direction, e. So your left hand will press down, the other one will press up. Then again, itch. Here my shoulders and my 45 degrees here. And then my hands are gonna start pressing each. Your left hand is shoulder high, the other one is down. They're not out, they're not in. Shoulder level, hips level here. Each. E. So you always use the back hip to press. Good. Just in the distance, just a little bit. Here, stepping forward, sliding forward, you need to do your back stance, down block. Itch. And then slide forward, 
Fudonacci stands and the grab. So from the side view, this is where it should be. Not leaning, you're going under that opponent. In the bunghai, I know we grab the belt, but in actual, what we should do is grab the leg of your opponent. So this is a low stance right there before the jump. Now I'm not gonna be able to do the jump yet. So I will just walk it around and talk it over after. Big key eye in the jump, wind up in the jump, land with both legs, both feet in the same time. Kokuzudachi should okay. And then move backwards. Another Kokuzudachi should okay. And then you go each. Yame, slowly. In Yame, left hand is open. The other one, fist is at the hand. Right there. And step into the side. And now. So I think we're gonna have time to do go over one more time, but I'm open for questions before so I'll know what you are what you guys need to work on. Whoops. Any one questions? Oh, Sensei. Well, actually, I have one on Techie Need On. I just never oh. got to ask. All right, go for it. Techie showed on. When you start, you go yoi, and then you come in, uh, and your hands go like this. Do you do that on Techie Need On? Nope. Techie Need On, I hope you can see me, starts right here. And then as you go, keep your fists closed. Fists are just going here. Yep, that's it. That's it. That's it. Anything else? Anyone else? All right. Uh, going back to my view. Jump in MP. Many people had questions about the jump, so I can I can talk it through. Can't do it yet. Soon. But this is what you basically do. So I'm gonna turn it around. You're right here in your low fudonachi. First thing that you're gonna do, you will turn on the direction of the jump. And then the jump, all the jumps in karate are, are skips. So they're skip kind of jump. So first thing that you're gonna do, turn and do this, right? Next thing that you will practice, or will, you probably need to practice that a lot, that kind of skip to get power on that, on that leg. Next thing that you will practice is, as you do that skip, the other leg up, the other knee up to your chest. So, ideally in here, both knees are not necessarily to the chest, but here, the other leg up, like in the leg, almost. So the other knee, not to the other leg, so the other leg up here, the other one on the other side. And then as you land, the land in the jump is from the knee up, you're gonna wind up, so knee up, both, knee, both legs in the same time, knees up, both in the same time. I don't have enough power in my legs yet, but I will. So putting one, two, and three together, you're here, get the momentum, Use your arms to get that momentum. Bring the other knee up. That's gonna be your turn. And then from the turn, you'll be here. Right, squat the other way forward. But anyway, that will be what you need to do in your, in your jump. Uh, to practice, we do a lot of knees, knees to chest, jumping knees to chest. My advice is do not try that in the house. Get your running shoes on or any kind of sports shoes or have a little bit of cushion. It's, uh, the hardest road that we have in the house is very bad for your heels. Other things that you can do to practice. You need to find kind of a small step, like probably a three, three to four inches. This is what I was told to do when I was actually took some uh, personal, some classes with a personal training. So I'm gonna turn my Camera there, grab a weight. I have 30, 30 pounds weight, and you go up and down just to build your calves as fast as you can with the weight on. Okay, so this height shouldn't be long more than two to three inches. 
where you go up and down like that, only on a raised surface. So when, as you go down, your heels will go lower than your toes. And last thing that they've asked me to do, for a step, and I'm gonna, I improvise here. This is a beam. So I have some butter to make it solid. Grab it. And this is what they had me do. So hundreds of those. Step up. You can use any kind of step tool that's solid. If you put it on the carpet, it's going to stay a little bit better. Make sure you're right on top. And yeah, my book will it right now. So they had me do the toe raises and the up and down with weights probably three times a week for three to four months and I got my own to jump. It's a lot of power in your legs to be able to from here to bring your knees up. So the more knees up to the chest you do, the better it will be. The more skips you do, you do the quicker you're going to get that going up in the air. There's no way to do a good jump in karate if you're not able to jump high. You don't have time to do everything. I mean, yes, you have quick legs, quick arms, but there's a fraction of a second and your brain is already blank. So you need to have time up in, up in the air to think what you're gonna do next. And important in the jumping, in uh, MB, is from the knees up, legs back in, into the floor. So knees up, legs back right here. Knees up, legs back and land in that land. So make sure you don't land on the heels. That gets you out of commission for the next few months. So land on the feet in the same time. Solid. The more you press down in that landing, the more stable. Any questions on MB? Anyone? Yeah, that's pretty good, Nate. All right, let's do MP step by step one more time. And then we gonna be done for today. I don't know about you, but I'm out of shape here. Okay, so step by step, still slow, and I'm gonna tell you which parts are together and which parts are fast. Go, together, and big. Okay, look right. Slow control, fast, powerful, still looking 45, ease, looking 45, slow control, fast to the side, fast forward, itch, knee, itch, knee, e, itch, knee, itch, knee, e. Keeping a key eye move. Each. Two strong punches. Each. All right. So you stay there. You need to adjust here. Each. 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 Some. Chi. I guess that will complete our class today. All right, stay together. Rick, right. thank you guys. We'll see you. Wednesday.